Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a little bit with Heron's formula here. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try to define it. So uh, let's say Heron's of A, comma B, comma C. And then that's going to be set equal to. And so it's the square root of S, which we know is A plus B plus C over 2. And then times, and then S again that, um, which I need to paste, so control V, ah, oh, man, that should work, but it's not working on this, so I'm going to type it, but you can copy and paste it, um, I say, times A plus B plus C over 2 minus B, and then times A plus B plus C over 2 minus C, press that, so it's done. Um, and then if I press var, Heron shows up, and I wanna do Heron's of, let's say, three, four, five, to see if I got it correct. Um, maybe I'll try five, twelve, thirteen also, just just in case, five, twelve, thirteen. Gives me what I was expecting, so now I'm kinda of set up to be able to do that for any triangle that I run into. So I can 23, 12, and uh, let's say, 18, does that violate the, eh, I think it works. Um, like that, it gives me the exact value because I have the cast. If I go back and I put a decimal in it, it'll give me that. And uh, now I'm all set up to use herons whenever I need to. Um, it's stored in this specific document right now. Um, but of course I have the option of uh, storing it as a function, changing its library preferences, and making it available in the uh, in the whole catalog, in which case it would show up um, here, um, where you can see I have a couple of things, trig formulas, solving triangles, and then these I think came with it, um, but you can see nothing's publicly available right now. Um, but anyway, that's uh, how I would set up Heron's, certainly if I was going to be doing a lot of problems that involved Heron's formula, after I uh, decided I really knew how to do it by hand, and I typed it into the calculator once, I would just define it and use it over and over. So, hope you find that helpful.